So today, guys, we're going to be cutting the Shixie haircut. Uh, we're calling it the Shixie because it's a Shag Pixie hybrid. Um, you can let me know what you think of the name. Would you call it that? I don't know. I didn't know what else to call it. So uh, we're going to work through. I'm going to use the sectioning from the FSE digital haircutting system. I'm not sure if you picked that up yet. It's available on Shop FSE. Eight uh, different haircuts. It shows you how to section hair. It tells us why all of that. So we separate down the center uh, and then separate the front and back. And now I'm going to start working a slight diagonal forward parting in the nape area in the back of the head. And what I'm going to be doing is pulling my finger angle parallel with the wall. Uh, and what I mean by that, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna create almost a 90 degree layered, seamless layered feel at the top of my fingers. But then as I move down on the head shape, keeping it parallel with the wall will actually pull length towards the bottom, which I'll use later to kind of create that shag effect in this haircut. So I want that length. I don't wanna follow the curve of the head. I wanna keep my finger angle parallel to the wall. Um, so you can see how that works. Now we're gonna work uh, slight diagonals uh, all the way up the back of the head shape. The key uh, thing to think about as I'm moving forward, watch my fingers and watch the over direction. Um, I take just the previous section, I use that as my guideline, keeping my fingers parallel to the wall, but then I'm just bringing it straight back. Uh, I'm not over directing it all the way to the center back, I'm just pulling it straight back so that I don't uh, follow that round and I don't create too much of a hole in the head as I'm working my way around it. So those are just the key things you wanna think about. Um, I wanna push a little extra length towards the front to play around with later in the dry cut. Uh, the key to this haircut you're gonna notice is we do a precision cut wet and then we go in and have some fun texturize it dry. So make sure you stay tuned to the end to see that. You can see the shape unfolding already. It's got a nice shape in that interior and then it gets longer towards the outside um, hairline area. So. That's the key, that's what we're going for. See how I'm over directing it back, but I'm not pulling it all the way to the center, just keeping it parallel with the wall. That gives you that really awesome shape and that length in the bottom. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. The only thing that we're changing up now is that our finger angle, our finger is pointing down at the floor. So this is where people struggle every once in a while because it's really hard because your elbow's up in the air now to stay consistent. So just make sure you really pop that elbow up uh, and that'll keep your finger angle in the right position. Um, so I'm just going to work my way all the way through uh, this back side of the head and then we're going to continue on with the top. So I hope you're enjoying the video so far. And if you're confused by anything that I'm talking about, don't worry, you're not the only one. Um, but I do have a digital haircutting system. I put this system together so that when you watch these videos, you could really understand everything that I'm talking about. And the reason why just a little bit deeper uh, dive into what um, haircutting for me is all about. So if you want to check it out, go to shopfse.com. It's an affordable haircutting system. It comes with eight separate step-by-step -step hair cutting tutorials that you can't get anywhere else. Um, those are fully downloadable, so you get to keep them forever. They're on your machine, your device, uh, so that is yours. Also, you get a Terminology 101 book. That'll break down all the terminology that I use when I'm cutting hair, when I'm teaching hair, so you guys can understand exactly what I'm talking about. And then you also get a certificate to hang in your salon or at your station um, when you complete the hair cutting system. So uh, key things, for me is that if you wanted to buy this system, you could download it, share it with your team. Uh, it's a great tool to help train your staff, but it's also just a great single person study guide, something you can have at your fingertips at all times. I also added in there so you guys can really get the breakdown of every haircut um, head sheets for that as well. So uh, this system's just full of different things. And again, it's affordable. So go check it out, shopfse.com. And if you bought the haircutting system already, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. And if you just ordered it and you're excited to check it out, let me know that as well. Let's get back to it. So now we're going to continue working through the top and we're going to be cutting a line parallel to the floor. So if the haircut wasn't simple enough, now all you have to do is think about in the back parallel to the wall, 
on the top parallel to the floor and just work your way through it. Also, same thing, when you get to the edge, that parietal ridge area, uh, as I work through it, I'm traveling across and then everything's gonna come straight up. Uh, so I'm not building that round all the way around the round of the head, I'm just creating a round shape until I get to the parietal ridge. Then I over direct everything straight up in the air and I cut that. That's gonna give me maximum length and also remove maximum weight from the side, which will create that shag effect. Um, how did we get our length? I pulled the length as a guideline from the back, so I just connected that through. So I'm gonna do that same thing on the opposite side. Um, one other thing to make sure of is as I work through the top of the head, I'm always combing the guide to the new hair, to the new section, um, because I'm traveling. So I wanna move that guide, travel that guide with it. Uh, and then I get to the end, pull everything straight up, which you can see here. Uh, so I do the same thing on the opposite side, just showcasing that shape a little bit. Now we're gonna work the same exact thing on the opposite side. So notice, grab my guideline, and I'm gonna comb that guide towards the new section and then cut it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the next section. And then when I get to that round of the head, I'll over direct everything straight up in the air. All right, so now we're gonna do our style and finishing with one of my favorite products. This is Paul Mitchell Quick Slip. I love the versatility of this product. It's super lightweight, uh, has a nice condition feel to it. Um, I call it kind of like a gel, but it's uh, more of a cream base um, and doesn't have a crunchy hold. So a lot of flexibility to it. Love this product, put it in, blow dry, flat wrap everything around using my Ergo uh, diamond head brush available on Shop FSE. And then I use my Paul Mitchell Pro Tools smoothing iron just to smooth everything out, get it ready for the dry cut. Now, this is what I think is so funny. So let me know what you think of the style right here when you look at it. Some people are probably freaking out inside thinking, oh, I don't love this. Some people are like, oh my God, I do love it. I would wear it just like that. Uh, who are you? Which one are you? Um, but the thing for me is this is a canvas now to create so what i do is i do the precision cut on the wet hair and then now once i blow it dry i've got all this hair to work with and i've got a really nice shape within it so i do a little point cutting through the top that's going to lighten up the shape that i did i cut it um I'm point cutting it opposite of how I cut it. So when I cut it, I worked vertical sections through the top and then I go horizontally through and cut it. Now, I wanted to try off this kind of bottleneck bang uh, in theory. Um, they're saying that this is a trend. It kind of looks like a bottleneck. So it starts off a little small kind of pinch in the front and then it gets wider uh, towards the cheekbones, kind of wraps around the cheekbones. So I just go through, I chisel out a little bang. Um, this is my kind of trying this out. I'm gonna make more videos about this bang later but I wanted to try it in this style. So really, really fringy look. Um, you can let me know what you think of this version of it. Uh, like I said, I will do some more coming up. Um, and if you've done it before, let me know as well. Um, I'd love to see that. So you can just see how it's kind of fringy. Now I work through dry cutting, half closing the scissor, working uh, that length out just a little bit. I didn't need that much length. Um, and now you can see that shape and how it kind of unfolds, how it is like a shag, but it's also kind of pixie feeling as well. Um, you know, I, I really like this haircut. I love the way that it turned out. Um, I love the vibe of it. I think um, it's very salon friendly. So if you're looking to change somebody up, it's also an easy haircut to grow out. So it's, it's an easy change for people. So Paul Mitchell flexible style worked up. This is one of my favorite hairsprays on the planet. Nice dry textury spray. Uh, it's got a good hold to it. And there's our finished look. So I hope you like that haircut. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Would you wear this haircut? Are you excited to put it on your guests? Is it not for you? I don't care. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, any comment helps when we're trying to grow this channel. So um, I'm almost at a million subscribers, which is just crazy. Uh, so thank you guys so much for being a part of the FSC community. Um, really excited. I think we're gonna hit a million by the end of the year. So uh, that's exciting stuff. Been working on this for a very, very long time. So excited uh, for that milestone. Um, let me know, so like it, share it uh, on your favorite platform. Let's spread the word. I look forward to seeing you in the comments. Uh, thank you so much for being a part of the FSE community and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.